From 2006 until 2009, I've carried out part of my PhD research work in the Upper East region of Ghana. In this region, small earthen dams create small water reservoirs, which are used during the dry season for irrigation, livestock watering, fishing, domestic use, and also sometimes for construction. The research set out to examine why small reservoirs and the irrigation infrastructure that often goes with them are not always being maintained. Together with the small reservoir water users and the area's agriculture extension agents, we developed a drawing approach to gain better insight in the idea of water users. Drawings made it easier to overcome language barriers, and the approach also helped water users to share their ideas with each other while they were telling them to us. This video shows some of the interactions which the drawing approach stimulated. You will see people explaining things to each other and helping each other to draw. But, what are they actually drawing? First off, the water users were asked to draw the reservoir and irrigation system. Important landmarks such as houses, roads and trees were often included. Also, in most of the drawings you will find cows, fish, crocodiles, sheep, birds and goats. In these drawings, water users were asked to circle where they think the problems are. These problems ranged from leakages in the canals, to livestock feeding in the gardens, to having too little water in the reservoir for irrigation during the dry season. Secondly, water users and the agriculture extension agents drew the materials that water users felt would be needed in order to fix the problems. The water users were then asked to circle which of these materials they, as a community, could most likely provide. This is how the meetings start. People gather, they shake hands, sometimes they sing, sometimes there's prayer. Once everything's in place and all formalities have been taken care of, we start to draw. So I'm going to go And this is usually how the meetings end. <laughs> some dancing, some singing, especially by the women. And then of course there's always laughter. Just wait and see.
And with this, I'd like to thank all the water users of the Upper East Region that have taught me so much.